All right, welcome back to Weeby Gaming with Weedy. And today we're going back to Seven Days to Die to continue some water experiments. Today we'll be working on a deep well, exploring head pressure, and um, still trying to see if water is going through the iron bars. So, um, for those of you who caught my last video, I wanted to show you a little bit of update on my aqueduct to see uh, how that all turned out um, head down here and as you can see I've concrete blocked in pretty much everything um, and I did actually get some water to accumulate in the cistern part here don't mind those bare guts um, so now I'm back to not being not sure as to whether or not water will accumulate um, now here's, uh, here's the aqueduct itself, and as you can see I've, at the top here, I've got a lot more water flowing than I did before, um, but I'm still not sure if that's just some, like a collection from before I put these bars in, and it's not actually still flowing anymore, um, because as you may have noticed on the way up, there was quite a few bricks with no water on them. So I'm not sure if I just moved some water around or if it's if it's actually flowing from the top. So there's some bare bricks here. Um, so that was part of the reason I wanted to do another experiment with the iron bars to see if they actually get water to flow through them or if they're actually if, if they're treated as a solid block. So I'm starting over here with uh, the next experiment here. I wanted to build a deep well because, as you may have saw in the first video, um, I was kind of confused as to why I wasn't getting water flow, being that I had so much, there's so much water in this lake. And, you know, after thinking about it for a while, I thought, well, you know, I built the inlet to that aqueduct pretty close to the surface. So maybe I should try something where the water flows directly out of the bottom of the lake and see if, you know, water pressure builds up. <clears throat> so that's what I'm doing here. Uh, i got to pick a spot right towards the middle of the lake um, so I can get the most water, as, as much water as possible, heading down into my uh, deep well. So let's get out here towards the middle. Uh, this looks like a good spot. So I'll save that way. That is a waypoint, so when I'm underground, I have a point of reference. And I think I might have to go kill this zombie over here. Just for fun. No, just to make sure it doesn't fall down my drill site and start attacking me. <clears throat> so. I'll go take care of him real quick. And yes, um, and just out of force, I had to uh, just had to loot that guy. And this bag too, because why not? All right, so let's go find a spot to start digging down. Alright, now I've learned from experience, just because I already had to do this video one time, and I lost it due to 
technical difficulties. Um, that's it's important to clear out where you're going to start digging because uh, if you just dig a hole in the middle of all this grass, it's real easy to lose track of where it's at, and then you spend time wandering around in the grass looking for the hole you dug. So I'm just clearing this spot out real quick. That looks about good enough. <clears throat> so, let's start digging. And I'm going to dig all the way down to the bedrock. And just like that. Now we gotta make sure we're drilling in the right direction to get up under the lake. So we'll start heading over to the west. Okay, so <clears throat> we got our uh, hole dug down here and we got a have a way to get back up and down, so I'll go ahead and build this, uh, build a ladder up to the top. Alright, let's throw a couple more blocks in here. Okay. Hard. Okay. So I'll head back down the hole here and uh, I do apologize for some of the stuttering and low, lower quality video because uh, my graphics card I think joined a unit and it's now having to work a little bit. And it, uh, We got our hole down a bedrock, dug a tunnel here, and we got out to about even with our marker and then turned south, dug there, and now I'm starting. This is the base of my well. Got a hatch there, and I've got some iron bars set up right there in the wall so we can see after the water comes down this well, is it going to flow out through the bars? So now I'm going to dig straight up to the uh, bed of the lake and line it as I go with concrete block. So again, there's our iron bars, our vault hatch, vault door, and great big deep well. So let's head up to the top and... Uh, Open up the floodgates, I guess. Now, one thing I learned in the first run through on this is you can't have, uh, like in the hole that we have going down to our down the ladder that we built earlier, you can't have it just that narrow because even though the ladder doesn't take any up any real space because it's a block, um, the water will see it as a blockage. It won't go through that space. So you have to have it at least, if you have a ladder, you know, one more block cut open behind it. So there's our hole going down to the deep well. It's definitely big enough for plenty of water to get through. Um, see, I don't know if I'm going to be able to swim down there in time. I don't think so. Um, 
<laughs> so we'll go down the ladder. And oh, there's just no way I'm gonna swim all the way to the down to the bottom. Uh, yeah, we'll go down to the the ladder that we built and uh, and see what's what at the base of the well. Oriented. Where is the top? It's got to be this way. I know it wasn't out that far. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's head down here. Okay, so now we've got some water here, and it looks like, well, it looks like there's some water coming from around the outside of my well. <laughs> so, and it looks like the well is empty, so what is going on here? Check this out. It's not empty. Okay, so it's filled with water. But I still can't tell if there's any water going through the damn iron bars. Because it looks like it's also coming from around the edge of the well. Well. I guess it doesn't tell us too much. But it does tell us that it would appear that head pressure is not a thing in, the, in this game at all because with all that water, the weight of all that water in the well, the water should definitely be going farther down the tunnel rather than just stopping with a dribble. Yeah, that's a lot of water. So. Real water physics don't exist, at least as we know them, in this world. So we'll have to come up with another experiment to test those iron bars because that one didn't work. Yeah, it's. I could. I can't tell. I guess it could be getting between there with between the the brick and the ground there, but seems kind of silly that something I can't get to go five feet can squeeze between bricks and go all the way down there. Yeah, we'll have to do another experiment for the iron bars. What is that? Ah, there's another property of water that I didn't expect, apparently. If you concentrate very hard, you can walk on it. At least rabbits can. But once they stop concentrating, they sink. So, again, this is Weedy. I'm wrapping up this video, and we will see you in the next one where we try once again to figure out what's going on with the iron bars. I'll see you later.